नमस्कार पी सी ओ डी पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवरी डिजीज अफेक्ट्स मैनी वुमेन एंड हैज अ रेंज ऑफ सिम्टम्स एट मेंटल एज वेल एज एट फिजिकल लेवल दिस कैन मेक लाइफ डिफिकल्ट फॉर द पेशेंट एंड फॉर द पीपल अराउंड हर यू विल बी हैप्पी टू नो दैट योग कैन बी एन इफेक्टिव वे टू मैनेज द सिम्टम ऑफ दिस कंडीशन योग कैन हेल्प टू रिड्यूस स्ट्रेस बैलेंस हॉर्मोन्स and can improve your overall health today we will explore some of the best yoga poses to manage pcod these are bhadrasan paryankasan paschimottanasan ardhamatsendrasan and balasan firstly let's look at bhadrasan begin seated with your both legs extended out in front of you bend your knees and bring the soles of feet together allowing your knees to drop out on the respective side hold on to your ankles with your hands pull your legs as closer to your body as possible and press your knees down towards the floor hold for some times and then release do this for few rounds bhadrasan helps to stretch and open hips and groins which can be helpful for the woman suffering from pcod it improves the circulation to the pelvic area which can help regulate the menstrual cycle and reduce menstrual cramps it also releases stress and tension in the body next is paryankasan sit down in vajrasan spread your feet apart trying to keep your knees together sit on the mat in the space created between your feet lean backward with the help of your elbows and forearms to lie supine interlace your finger and hold your hands over your abdomen maintain this posture with normal rhythmic breathing till comfortable but not more than 2 minutes paryankasan helps to regulate the thyroid gland and balances hormones it improves digestion and releases constipation which can be symptom of pcod it relieves stress and anxiety stress and anxiety worsen the condition of pcod third is paschimottanasan sit on the floor with legs extended in front of you lean backward keeping both your palms facing downwards and besides chest hands folded at the elbow slowly bend forward stretching your hands to hold your toe trying to touch your head to the knee without bending your knee Here you can even try to lower your elbows to touch the floor if possible. Remain in this position for few seconds and then return to the starting position. Paschimottanasan stretches your spine, hamstring and lower back which can reduce back pain and discomfort that may come with PCOD. It helps to stimulate the ovaries and improve hormonal balance. Fourth comes Ardhamatsendrasan. Sit on the floor with both the legs extended in front of you. Fold your right leg inwards and press your heel against the perineum. Take your right leg bending at the knee, crossing across your left thigh. Place your right foot near the outside of the left thigh and bring your right knee close to your chest. Bend the left leg at the knee inwards and place your foot close to your right hip. Twist your torso on the right side. Let your left hand hold your right ankle or toe. Give more twist to your spine and place your right hand across your back with the palm facing outwards. At the same time, turn your head and neck towards your right shoulder. Stay in the posture for a few seconds and then come back to the starting position. Ardhamatsendrasan stimulates liver and kidney. which can help detoxify the body and improve liver function which is important for hormonal balance it stretches the shoulder hips and spine which can alleviate tension and discomfort in those areas and finally now we have forward bending asan and that is balasan sit in vajrasan slowly bend forward keeping your hands by your side palms facing up rest your head on the floor if possible for few seconds and then return to the starting position balasan calms the mind releases stress and anxiety it helps to improve blood flow to the reproductive organs which can improve overall reproductive health 
These five yoga asanas are beneficial for women for PCOD because they help to regulate hormones, improve digestion and circulation, elevate pain and discomfort, and above all, reduce stress and anxiety. Learn and practice these asanas to manage PCOD disease to bring balance in your lifestyle. Namaskar.